Mathematics and astronomy when applied to trading are very strongly linked. You probably already observed that during the full moon or new moon markets are more likely to change direction. You have probably seen that, haven't you? Also, planetary aspects cannot be neglected. If combined with some simple math, they can give some outstanding results. Hi trader, this is Mario from Forex Otherway, the channel for traders who want to know more about timing in trading. If you give me a moment of attention, you will learn how math and astronomy can be used in making your trading decision. So don't waste the time and let's start the rock and roll. W.D. Gunn used to say, in making my predictions, I use geometry and mathematics just as the astronomer does, based on immutable laws. That's the quote from The Tunnel to the Air, the famous uh, uh, work of W.D. Gunn. Mathematics and geometry of W.D. Gunn are hidden behind the square of nine. There is a divine symmetry of numbers within the square of nine. And as you might know from my other previous videos, the symmetry can be applied to the markets in that way that knowing previous dates and prices of previous stops and bottoms, we can calculate future dates and future levels where the given trading instrument changes direction. This applies to any trading instrument such as shares, commodities, bonds, crypto, forex, you name it. And here is the example of one of calculations I made a long time ago on Bitcoin. And calculation more precisely based on the top and bottom of Bitcoin between January and March 2021. And all these dates alongside here on the column age, as far as you see, they're they've been calculated in advance. So these dates are potential reversal points in the future, starting from this 4th of March, the first one was 13th of April, and so on and so on. The results shown from, the, from this Excel, Excel spreadsheet can be seen on the chart over here. And uh, as you see, the accuracy of these calculations are pretty interesting. We got just the, the last uh, bottom we had on around May 11, 12, then another local top on April over here and over here, some bottoms in March and February. So they are pretty accurate. The details how to do these calculations I shared during my private tutorials uh, via Skype or Zoom. So if you want to know more about, please drop me a line, my contact details you'll find just under this video. I mean, over the video, it, it would be too long and too complicated to do it. So that's, uh, that's why I share it uh, only privately. Obviously, all these dates calculated here need to be filtered. Uh, and here comes the part of WD Gunn was referring to as uh, astronomy. I remind you this one, just as the astronomer does and the famous letters of uh, WD Gunn coffee letter especially shows that he was using astronomy, a part of uh, astrology, I mean astronomy, just to, to find uh, confirmations uh, on, his, uh, on his tradings. Let me show you last event, what, what happened just recently. But first we have to look at Astrolog, a free software showing the planetary positions, the positions of the planet on the zodiac. So let me show you. I got it prepared already. Let's go back to May 11. I got it uh, already. Here's the date. May, May 11, 2022. It was Wednesday. Let's go 
backwards, one day backwards. Why is that date? For the simple reason that this calculation made over here, just let me show you. So here is the uh, March 4th, 2021 and January 29, 2021. There was a top and bottom extremes of the market. There's a pretty long swing about over a month. And all these dates shown here, let me just show the recent one, the date shown over here is just 434 days from the starting point. And it shows 11 of May 2022. We know that the market reversed over here. There's at least the local correction and maybe it will continue at least, at least, I think it will continue up to the, let's just draw a line. Let's do the trend line. There's a channel over here and there's a pretty big chance that the market this a uh, channel of it more likely is over here so at least uh, this bitcoin might reach the level of 34,000 roughly if continues higher and over here it will be uh, 35 and uh, 50 500 yeah so anyway but it's not the issue so we got the date calculated yeah we got the date calculated let's, let's presume we are we don't know what's gonna happen on may 11th 2022 and we got such a situation we got some interesting hits confirmed or not but that's the date we got 11 of may we don't know what to do and in that way let's look at astronomical events what is happening may 10th i remind you may 10th nothing major happens apart of the fact that jupiter you know the planet uh, associated with wealth is just changing the zodiac changing the zodiac by jupiter it is really quite big event and we are here on may 10 that's the date and jupiter is still at 2952 pisces and the next day 11th of may i press uh, the button move one day forward so we got may 11th wednesday 2022 jupiter is already 0 0.03 aries so entered on 11 into the into the Aries zodiac. So this is the one thing which I want to show. So for me, it is a good confirmation. Another one, let's go backwards one day again. So here's May of 10. Please uh, have a look, have a butchers at Mercury. Here when I press, when I go forward one day from 10th of May to 11th, so this is 11th here, and R letter appeared. What does it mean? It means R letter that Mercury starts retrograde motion. I mean, it Mercury uh, for the observer from the Earth uh, looks like it was going backwards through the zodiac, and it represents here the Mercury. When I press, uh, when I forward the button, the day will go forward. The Mercury instead of going that way anti-clockwise as all the planets uh, uh, travel on zodiacs uh, usually mercury will go backwards look it starts going backwards it's crossing back is getting from gemini back to taurus on may 23rd and so on even that's interesting because it's also a conjunction of mercury and the sun on may 21st 22nd so there's a conjunction just on the entering the zodiac so it's interesting may 22nd it could be also an interesting reversal date i haven't got it on bitcoin i have i've got it on other instruments but at the moment it's not the issue i just want to just wanted to show you how to use it so there's the first we got 11th of may jupiter Jupiter got into the, oh, let's go backwards, Jupiter got just on 11th of May, just uh, began its uh, one year journey through Aries, zodiac sign, and Mercury on 11th started retrograde motion going backwards. Okay, 
we know already that on 11 there was a bottom of the market more or less intraday was on 12 but it's uh, usually when the retrograde motion of mercury started start pretty slowly and it starts speeding up after two or three days so 11 was the first day of retrograde motion and full it's full speed backwards mercury just uh, got around 13th or 14th of may 2022 so at the moment as of today we are on 17th and mercury is going pretty fast backwards against the other planets going clockwise and it will go till we can check it just let me show you all right next date on bitcoin we got 2nd of june 2022 very interesting very very interesting so when i go forward i will press the plus button moving my one one step is one day so mercury is going backwards please observe this guy over here is going backwards and it's so uh, where is it up to so on june 1st it's still a retrograding june the second is still a retrograding now look the next day june the third is retrograding june the fourth bam is over so it seems that june between june, i got the june 2nd 2022 the next uh, reversal point of uh, bitcoin so in that case because mercury is ending up its retrograde motion i mean last three days it's also slowing down its speed before it starts going forward as usual as any other planets uh, so that area of june the second june the fourth it is more likely that bitcoin will reverse at the time so i think it's really really so that's the way gun was confirming that movement but let me show you one more thing let me show you because to, to, as uh, to as of today we are on may 17 2022 can you see this date where is my mouse it's over here here we go may 17 2022 let's go backwards with our astrolog to that date i will show you another interesting story here so that's the situation we got mars neptune conjunction approaching all right so because they are nearly 24 aquarius and 24 uh, 24 aquarius where do we go we got mars and neptune neptune is pisces sorry 24 pisces 2458 and mars is 2420 okay let me just uh, show you when exactly this conjunction will occur okay let me just let's just uh, change into the hourly steps on astrolog so at the moment uh, this is uh, Neptune 58 and Mars is 20 so I go forward and I think that it will be 55 57 59 all right look Wednesday May 18th 2022 at 1 25 a.m standard zone this is new york time usa so at 1 1 30 roughly early morning new york time it showed that neptune and mars they conjunct each with each other there is another thing saturn look over here saturn is also 24.59 but Aquarius which means that between this conjunction and the Saturn the slowing planet is 30 degree difference so somehow we got three planets all together at 24.59 okay i i don't know what would it mean if you got any instrument 
which is uh, the price is around 25 or 25,000 or 2,500. So by WD GAN, that would be a, quite uh, likely a reversal at that level. At 245, for example, or 2459 or 2459 in the case of, I don't know, standard and poor. I don't know whether it would drop, and uh, especially the standard and poor, <coughs> pardon me, standard and poor, uh, it's not quoted at that time, so the market definitely will be closed. But there is a price of something at 24.59, where we got this conjunction Mars and Neptune and Saturn exactly at the same level. So Saturn is the slowing planet. So in the case of financial instruments, Saturn disturbs probably the growth. So Jupiter is for expanding and Saturn is for contraction. So in the case of Saturn, if anything reaches that level, uh, that's uh, 2459, that's how Gunn was doing that, it's very likely that uh, the reversal will occur. So, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I use astronomical events like this one as a filter for my calculations. The calculations I've shown you previously over here, these calculations, this is one of them. So this is the calculation of the range between the top and the bottom as the time also. Uh, using the square of nine, using the square of nine, this one, and the rules hidden behind it, the equations which uh, which I share on my my private tutorials. So based on these equations, we can also calculate the range of the price and project it into the future. Find the time, find the price. We can project. Uh, uh, the price itself from the top or from the very bottom and so on and so on. Pretty, pretty interesting. So uh, in that way, I shown you here in this video, having a future date calculated, I check whether an important astronomical event occurs as, uh, as shown today at the given date and based on this, I make my trading decisions accordingly. So I hope this video brought some value to your trading toolbox. I will see you the next time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.